Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough session. For today, we're going to be tackling Yoimiya's character quest. Yesterday, we finished up Ayaka's, which was really awesome. I'm still a little disappointed that Mihoyo, like, slipped in the whole Inazuma festival. We got a little sneak peek, a glimpse of the fox mask on Ayaka and the Traveler, which I was really happy about. It was so short-lived, and I really hope they decide to follow through with that within the next couple of months of whatever festival we're gonna get for Inazuma. You know, we got Windbloom, we got Lantern Rite in Liyue. So I feel like they're gonna have something substantial for us in Inazuma at some point in the future. But like yesterday, we're gonna be tackling Yoimiya's character quest. And after that, we're gonna kind of be caught up with everything. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be tackling the second act of the Inazuma Archon quest. So I hope you guys look forward to that. But yeah, we got Yoimiya a little bit in act one, which was really great. We went on a quest with her in a domain to go and like bust somebody out of jail. Love her personality. She's super Super bubbly she's super energetic she's basically like the queen of summer which is awesome as well very excited to see how her quest deviates and differentiates from ayaka's ayaka's was kind of like a quest of like self-discovery in a way loved her personality loved the little animation that was at the end of the quest too so that was all pretty great i'm expecting big things from this one as well we might get a fireworks show which is awesome a showcase of like the end of summer which is going to be happening i think by the end of 2.1 is going to basically be the end of the summer i think that would be very serendipitous for having Having someone like Yoimiya to kind of close out the first act of Inazuma. But before we get into all of that, as we've been doing over the last couple of days, we're gonna go and try our luck at the Grand Sakura Shrine. And then from there, we are gonna go and test our luck at the conch box for Takashi. So we're gonna try our luck at hopefully getting the blueprint there. And then we will officially get into her character quest. So far, we've gotten three fortunes. We got good luck, we got moderate luck, and then we got bad luck. Oh, I also got great fortune, but that was during Ayaka's character quest. So that that kind of feels like it was scripted. Let's see how the universe is going to treat me today. Modest! Oh my god, yo, we're going up! Wait, I don't know if modest or moderate. Is this the same one or is this better? All right, well, this is basically the same one we got yesterday. So no foul. It's not worse. That's all I was caring about. It's not worse. All right, so we're going to be taking a stroll down to the old conch house. And uh, we're going to test our luck on these three boxes with a caveat now. All right, guys, don't worry. We're not going to drown Sayu this time. I've learned my lesson. You know why I'm not going to drown Sayu? Because we're going to drown Yoimiya this time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are gathered here at twitch.tv forward slash murder of birds to give you guys a question. The question to end all questions. Are you team left? Are you team right? Or are you team middle? All right, Takashi, we're back. We got a game plan. I swear to fucking God, if I get this today, I'm... All right, team middle from here until the end of time. Everyone who voted middle, you got no one to blame but yourself. Damn, bro. Yo, lefties and righties are probably flexing right now. They're just like, could not be me, though. Let's get back on task with the quest at hand. That'd be great. Yoimiya's character quest starts now. With the Nagano Hara fireworks show just around the corner, everyone is getting excited and the fireworks girl is getting busy. But what is the place of a transistory flicker of flames in a nation that champions eternity? Oh, God. That's some existential crisis right there. If you have a moment to spare stop and see for yourself some things may exist for only an instant but their meanings endure for all time the kids are all excited for fireworks hey what's up kiddos we're looking for the great mojina yokai the great mojina yokai wait are they talking about sayu do you know where it lives great mojina yokai What's that? That's right. We haven't seen Sayu yet. And Sayu did make a cameo appearance at the end of Yoimiya's character trailer. Huh? You've never heard of it? It's a sneaky monster that goes around playing tricks on people. <laughs> it's got magic powers and can even shapeshift into anything it wants. Uh, I think that's a ninja kid. One time, the great Mujina Yokai stole some rice from our house. Damn. And this other time, it pushed my dad into the river. Theft and assault. Things aren't looking good for you, Mochina Yokai. Sounds like a very naughty little monster. Why are you out here looking for it? Because we finally found out how to chase it away. My dad Dad said that the great Mujina Yokai likes to play tricks on people who stay out all the time and don't come home when they're supposed to. Oh, are the parents lying? Is I like the boogeyman story? So all we need to do is chase it away. Then we can come out and play whenever we want. Take that, Dad. Kids are like 200 IQ on you right now. This monster sounds scary, though. Aren't you guys afraid? Surely your parents must be worried about you. Oh, not really. I told my dad that I was going to find the great Mujina <laughs> Gina Yokai with some friends, 
And he didn't even say anything. The adults in this region are too depressed and are going through some like really critical shit to really give a fuck about their kids right now. I'll be honest. So we think it must be weak right now. It's probably hiding away so it can rest. Yeah. So as long as we get home before it gets its strength back, we'll be safe. Hmm. <laughs> Something sounds very strange about all this. Hmm. But Paimon can't say exactly what it is. We've never seen a monster like that before. The dad's attitude doesn't quite add up. Yeah, Paimon feels like the great Mujina Yokai is one of those yeah! monsters that doesn't exist in the real world. Bro, it's literally the boogeyman. Guess the parents wouldn't want their kids staying out all the time. Exactly. We should tell them so they don't waste all their time looking for it. Nah, kids are dumb. Just, just let them have their fun. Oh, children. Ah, oh, come on. There's no need to go looking for the great Mujina Yokai, all right? Because it isn't real. Damn, just undoing all that parent's hard work. Huh? No way. That's impossible. <laughs> My dad would That's impossible. You're lying. That can't be true. Your folks are just worried about you is all. They don't want you wandering too far from home because it's too dangerous. That's not true. The great Mujina Yokai is definitely real. I almost feel like it is Sayu. It's like, this isn't the Mujina Yokai you're looking for. This is the lazy version. Yeah! Yoimiya's even making some weapons for us. And then she's gonna show us how to blow it up. She's arming the youth of Inazuma. Let's go join the rebellion, kids. Yoimiya, huh? Oh, boy. Wait, as in fireworks prison break, Yoimiya? Let's fucking they go. All about the great Mujina Yokai. She said we shouldn't be scared of it. We should learn how to chase it away instead. We've been waiting for ages now. And finally, Yoimiya said that today's the day. Let's go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yoimiya plays with us and tells us stories all the time. She wouldn't tell a lie. Sure. But, but... <laughs> Come on. Yo, Crab Let's Gang! Here and go find Yoimiya. Yo, Crab Rave happening right now, dude. Wait, hold on, don't go! <sighs> Damn, Paimon. It didn't seem to take that very well. But Paimo is only trying to look out for them. Who knows what Yoimiya's got to do with this? Let's follow the kids and see what's going on. She's gonna give them like those little fire streamer kind of thing. I don't know what they're called, but they're the little things that spark at the ends. The thing that she uses for her idol animation. Dream like timelessness. Catch up to the kids who are about to leave. Okay. Oh, Yoimiya, it's you. Cheer up, guys. Don't be so down. He was only joking back there. How could the great Mujina Yokai not exist, huh? Yo, Paimon would literally tell these kids Santa's not real if Santa existed in Teyvat, like... But we've never seen it for ourselves! That's because the great Mujina Yokai is extra powerful! And that's exactly why I need your help, isn't it? <laughs> um... It's okay, don't be discouraged. Hey, remember, if you... Hero, oh my gosh. Patience. Even if you can't find it right now, it'll definitely show up before the fireworks show starts. So, remember to come and pick up your weapons from me before then, okay? Yes. No matter how powerful the great Mujina Yokai might be, it's no match for my specially made fireworks. <laughs> Just light them up and you'll scare it off no problem. It's up to you guys to protect your homes, your crops, and your folks. That shot's anime as fuck. What the hell? Got it. Thanks, Miss Yoimiya. We'll try and be more patient. Oh, yeah. Hold up a sec. I have a few slips of paper for you guys. One each. Remember to give it to your parents and tell them to keep it safe. Oh, was that like a coupon or something? Just tell them it's from Yoimiya. They'll know what it's about. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Yoimiya. We're gonna go back now. Is Yoimiya like Ning Wong? She's like, okay, kids, I'm gonna give you this super secret message to give to your parents because kids are innocent and no one suspects a child when it comes to fighting the rebellion. Oh, thanks, Yoimiya. Oh. Play with us soon. Sure thing. Will do. Take care on the way back, and I'll see you later. Damn. Bennett's reign of terror continues, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's either that or the Shogun's like, no fun in Inazuma. Thank God we got that awesome shot before the rain came and fucked it up. So... <laughs> we meet again. Ah, so it was you guys. I guessed as much from the way the kids described you. No worries, though. I'm not blaming you. The great Mujina Yokai is pretty popular with the kids, so of course they're gonna get upset if someone tries to tell them it doesn't exist. Yeah, Paimon. Okay, but it definitely doesn't exist, <laughs> right? Yeah, the first time I heard about it, I knew straight away that was probably something the parents had come up with to stop the kids from running off all the time. Literally the boogeyman, I called that. But when the kids asked me about it, I didn't want to break it to them. I just told them that it looks cute and likes to play pranks and 
doesn't hurt people. Yeah. So, uh, I guess now the kid's impression of the great Mujina Yokai is mostly influenced by me. I don't give a shit, chat. I'm lying to my kids and telling them Santa's real. You gotta give kids some magic and excitement and wonder in their life. You can't just come out like Paimon and tell them nothing is real, the world is bleak, and the only thing you should expect in this world is taxes, death, and suffering. Huh. So in a way, this monster is all a product of your creativity? Certainly it's a bad idea to keep the lie going like that. Maybe so. Nope. In any case, I don't think so. Be the one who exposes it. Yeah. Sure. It's likely that the parents just wanted to stop the kids from staying out all the time, but they could have easily had other reasons too. If I just go ahead and tell them that the great Mujina Yokai doesn't exist without knowing the full story, then who knows? I might be doing more harm than good. Besides, they're just kids. They should be allowed to believe it if it makes them happy. Exactly. That's more important to them than questioning what's real and what isn't. Heck. I entertain my fair share of fantasies, too. The fire diamond that spins around and shoots out lights that are all the colors of the rainbow. Ooh, the mist spirits that live far off in the mountains and guide <laughs> you to fairyland if you can find them. Yo, those better be real, dude. I know that they don't really exist, but I still enjoy believing in them. If someone came up to me and started telling me to stop being so stupid, they don't exist. Na, na, na. <laughs> I'd give them the evil eyes and tell them to get the heck out of my face because... <laughs> it's just so annoying. That's what I'm saying. I kind of get where you're coming from. Right? So what if it's made up? It's also really awesome and kind of magical. Yeah. So it's not up to anyone else to tell me what's what. The things we believed and the experiences we had when we were young turn into our priceless treasures as we grow up. Mm -hmm. When you were kids, surely you guys believed in things like heroes who slew dragons and <laughs> sacred swords that cut through darkness. <laughs> the same thing. I used to literally think cartoon characters were real when I was a kid. If we tear apart these kids' fairy tales now, what else do we have to tell them? That Inazuma's locked down? All the grim tales of the Vision Hunt decree? Yeah. I think it's a bit too early for all of that. Yeah! Oh, way too early. For sure! Paimon, you already ruined it! No need to pretend to agree if you don't understand. <laughs> Whether you understood me or not, don't you worry. I'll take care of the kids and make sure they stay safe. Preserve those children. Okay, it's about time I headed back. The Nagano Horror Ooh. Fireworks Show is just around the corner, and there's still a lot of things to get ready. Bro, if we get a fireworks show, I'm going to be so happy. Nagano Horror Fireworks Show? Is that hosted by your family or something? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's why your name is on the event. <laughs> it's well known throughout Inazuma. Oh, on the subject, are you busy these days? If not, then you should totally come along. I'll prepare an extra pretty firework just for you. I've been looking forward to it for ages. <laughs> In that case, come with me to Naginahara. We'll go see my bots. There's still a few fireworks to finish off before the show. Gosh, I love Yoimiya's voice. Her personality is just Inazuma so great. It's home to the Yai Publishing House and a lot of people who like to write stories too. In fact, most of what they write is based off of the kinds of fairy tales I was just talking about. Ooh. A lot of them have bad endings though. Like the fire diamond will get put in a rich person's gallery where it will never be ignited again. Jesus. Or someone will see the mist spirit and not manage to catch it, but because- I wonder if she's read Zing Cho's it, book. Show itself again. The hero who slays the dragon becomes the next dragon. The sacred sword that once fought the darkness now becomes a doomsday weapon. Ugh, Hold on. I know these kinds of stories are all the rage nowadays, but I really can't bring myself to like them. If something's magical, it should be kept that way. So I literally thought of that and I was like, that reminded me of Albedo. It reminded me of like the festering desire, Durin, what he said to us at the end when we drank that like potion with him. I feel like he's gonna turn into like one of those dragons. Hey pups, I'm back. And yeah, like Zing Cho wrote a story that was published by the Yai Publishing House. So I wonder if she's read his book. The fireworks show is almost upon us and the fireworks for each family are almost ready. Oh, new faces? Mm -hmm. Who are these two? Friends or customers? Why not both? A bit of both, actually. They arrived in Inazuma just recently. Can't let them miss out on a fireworks show after coming all this way, can we? Dude, we got here at the perfect time. <laughs> well, either way, come on in and have a seat. And I, Naganahara Rienosuke, will tell you all about the long history of the Naganahara. Let's go. That can wait. Pops, I'll <laughs> ask you about something. Dad, you talk too much. Shut up. <sighs> A long, long okay, time ago. relax there, pops. Uh, pops is <laughs> <laughs> but 
somewhere along the line. You can hear him. Sorry about this. Uh, ever since Pops had his accident, his ears don't work too well. Aww. Really? But for a moment there, it almost seemed like you were having a coherent conversation. Like his ears popped from the fireworks, I guess? Much, much later, people eventually realize that if you grind certain materials into dust, Ooh. they burn with many beautiful colors. Dust of Azoth? Pops, Pops, wait! Please, we can't, not another word. Huh, what's that? Did they deliver those firework materials that we ordered yet? Oh, yesterday's fireworks have all been delivered. Ooh. So have the ones from the day before yesterday. And the ones from the day before that. Good shit. No, Pops, I meant the materials. The materials that we ordered. They should have arrived today. Oh, today's fireworks are almost ready too. Don't you <laughs> Oh worry. my god. <laughs> <laughs> Your old man's skills are still as sharp as ever. This poor man, I love him. No, Pops, the materials. The raw materials for making fireworks. Oh, the fireworks? We already put them away, darling. Sorry? Materials! <laughs> Look at that face. It's so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, the materials. There you go. It only took him like six tries. Yes, yes, the materials. Sorry, sorry. Paimon got all excited because he finally got the message across. Takes one to know one, Paimon, eh? <laughs> the materials aren't here yet. The couriers did come over to explain why, but, well, I think they did, but... I couldn't quite hear what they were saying. Makes sense. <laughs> no worries. As long as we know, that's fine. We can just make them later. Uh, uh, don't forget to take the goods in when they deliver them. Okay, Pops? Of course. Leave it to me. This reminds me of Cal, my girlfriend, because she lives with her grandfather. Obviously, he's hard of hearing. Oh, sorry if we were a little loud. It's always the way, though. It's like that every time I need to ask Pop something. Ah, uh, he seems like a warm and friendly person. Uh-huh, that's my Pops. He's a good person, all right. Mm -hmm. Everyone around here respects him. Because my Pops is deaf, he never argues with anyone and never <laughs> contradicts them. There you he go. He just listens cheerfully. When I was little, I thought it was because he really understood me and agreed with what Ever the doge! Said. So, I told my pops everything. Eventually, I realized that the reason he was like that was that he's deaf. But I still tell him stories every day. Huh? Why would you do that? It just makes me happy to see him smile. And it keeps him from being lonely, right? Ah, this is like some wholesome family time. Anyway, more importantly right now, the fireworks show is right around the corner and the materials still haven't arrived. We need to think of an alternative. All right, we're going to make the materials ourselves. Yoi Mia, is that you? Hello? Ah! <laughs> oh, you scared me there. You good? I thought I told you to be more careful before you speak. S sorry. Who is this? Hold on. I'm coming over. Is this the guy we broke out of jail? Confirm the source of the sound. Hello? Nani? Oh, wait, is it around the side? What's going on? No one's looking. Okay, you can come out now. Uh, come around the side. <sighs> We're lucky that no one from the Tenryo Commission was around. Otherwise, we'd all be in big trouble. Sorry, I guess I was a little rash. Who is this? But when I heard you come back, I just... Don't worry, Sakajiro. So far, at least, everything is going according to plan. All according to cake. We're going to look for firework materials shortly. While we're out, we'll sort out the boat situation for you, as promised. So why is he hiding? Thank you for all your help. Who is this? He's one of our old customers. He came back to Inazuma from the outside world not long ago. Ooh. While he was smuggling himself in, the Tenryo Commission found oh. him for his arrest. Damn, you're a bad stowaway. An arrest warrant? Shh, keep it down. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention. Jesus, Paimon. If Sakajiro was caught, there's no knowing what crimes they could charge him with. All we can do is find him a boat and send Send him out of Inazuma again. Two words, Musono Hirotachi. I think that's three words, but anyways, yeah, divine judgment. Yeah, we know it's going to be dangerous, but there aren't many other options left. What if the boat capsizes? Damn. <sighs> Drowning is really scary. If things are this bad, couldn't you just not come back in the first place? Well, Damn. there's something I felt I had to do. Which was? But as soon as I got back, I started hearing about all these unbelievable changes. I had made my mind up originally, but mm. now I'm not sure anymore. I didn't want to cause any trouble for Yoimiya or Mr. Ryunosuke, but I'm very grateful to them for taking me in. Hey, no worries. You're more than welcome. Remember what I said? As long as you've got that little piece of paper, yeah. you'll always be a value customer of the Nagano Haras. Oh, uh, she gave this to the kids, too. Little piece? 
piece of paper? Yep, the same paper slips as the one I gave to the kids earlier. Whenever a customer orders fireworks Ooh. for a commemorative event, we always include a little paper slip with the goods. Is that like a discount or like a little thank you for shopping with us? Only people from inside my family can understand what's written on it. It's the recipe for the fireworks they ordered. Okay. If someone shows a Naganohara that paper slip, we guarantee we can make the exact same firework as the original one they purchased. That's cool. Whether it's 10 or even 100 years later. That's really cool. Wow, that is so awesome. It's kind of like a record of all the stuff they make and how they make it. It's a family tradition. All our regular customers know about this. The slip I have is from back when my parents ordered fireworks from Mr. Ryunosuke. Jesus. Now that I think about it, it must be nearly 20 years ago. Who would have thought that things would turn out the way they have? It'll be fine. Escaping in a boat is just a last resort for if there's no other way. I'll still try and come up with a different solution. Because I'd be much better if you could stay in Inazuma. Whatever their reasons might be, if our customers come to us looking for help, we're not about to leave them high and dry. Oh, that's why they're helping. They're like, oh, your family was a customer of ours in the past. Thank you. This way, I still have some time to consider my options. All right. Well, let's not stay out here in the open for too long. Hurry up and get back inside. I'll let you know as soon as I have an update for you. All right. I'll, I'll leave it to you then, I guess. Get your ass back in the house. Uh, it's a shame. They still wouldn't give him a permit, even though he was born and raised in Inazuma. Speaking of, you guys only got here recently. How did you manage to get a permit? <laughs> we still don't have one, by the way. We went through a long bureaucratic process in Rito, and we've made it out on a loophole. Even then, we only got through thanks to some help from Miss Hiragi Chisato of the Kanjo Commission. We're still using that help to this day. Huh. I see. So you had Big Shots helping you. I guess that won't be of much help to Sakujiro. Uh, I just wish the commissions could be a little bit more flexible. I bet nowhere else you've been is quite like Inazuma, huh? Each Archon has their own idea of how to run things. <sighs> well, no matter what, I have to find a way to help him. I'm sorry. Aww. I invited you to come watch the fireworks, but now I have to run a few errands. You don't have to join me if you don't want to. I can go sort out the firework materials in the boat by myself, and then you can come meet me back Oh, I don't mind. Oh, cool. Then let's start with Sakajiro's boat. We can chat along the way. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Um, if it's fine with you, can I ask how you two first met? Uh he saved me from drowning this one time. And after that, we started traveling together. Why do you ask? Going down memory lane. Nothing. I'm just quite envious of your relationship. My pops had a person like you around. His being deaf wouldn't hold things up all the time. Uh, -huh. uh, why? Do you look so excited? <laughs> because, because uh -oh. you said person and not floating child or a mascot. You treated me with respect. <laughs> That's sweet. Koichi, I'm here. How is the boat coming along? Yeah, it's uh, all right, I guess. Um, I was questioned, though. Wait, should we really be talking about this in front of them? Yes, I'm fine. It's cool. Oh, don't worry. They're my friends. You can trust them. They came with me to check up on the boat. Yeah, you can. Say we're all in the same boat here. Why? No one told me there'd be puns, and I wasn't prepared. <laughs> that was a good one. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> oh, I see. Sorry. I didn't mean to doubt you. I'm just being cautious. The boat is ready, but I'll have to be discreet moving it here. Huh? Because of the Sokoku Decree, oh. the Tenryo Commission is really suspicious of any kind of seaborne vessel. Even the smallest ones, they'll stop and interrogate us, demanding to know what we plan on doing with it. It's a real nuisance. Bring Sarakujo back down here. I want to look at her. I understand. I'm sorry for dragging you into this mess. <laughs> uh, don't be silly. Uh, I'm actually happy you came to me for help. I've always come to you for fireworks, and again this time. So just consider this my way of saying thank you. Nice. Right. I'll go fetch the boat now. I should be back shortly. Thank you. Oh. If it's on the way, you can always pick up your fireworks from my house. Everything was made in strict accordance with what was on the paper slip. You won't find the slightest thing wrong with them. I love how proud of her work she is. All right, then. The fireworks show will be starting soon, won't it? You Ooh. should make sure your new friends get to see it. It's an Inazuma tradition after all. I'm pretty sure we're going to catch the very tail end of it. Yep, that's the plan. Oh, you know what? You should tell them about your past. About the first time you ordered fireworks for my family. That's a long story, actually. <laughs> Where do I stop? Do we have time? Uh, oh, maybe I'll come back to that after moving the boat here. Yeah, I was about to say, we gotta, we gotta shake a leg. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, got, got 
caught up in the conversation there. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it for now and meet you back here later. <laughs> Lucky you reminded me. Otherwise, I would have ended up chatting the rest of the day away. <laughs> Ugh, I've been so busy with the fireworks business these past few days that I haven't had a moment to stop and chat with anyone. Ugh, it's killing me. Of course, Pops is happy to listen to me chatter away, but because he can hardly hear it's me... It's a one-sided me, conversation. It's to get an interesting reaction from him. I'll talk with you. Hey, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Ugh. What I meant to say was, while Koichi is bringing the boat here, we should try to find some firework materials. It's always great to have uh, someone to just conversate with and chat with. I need to make fireworks not just for you guys, but for those kids and Sakajiro as well. We're missing a lot of materials. Don't worry. I'll be fine. It's actually like this every year. There's always a bunch of extra orders to slot in here and there. When people want fireworks, it's Ooh. always because they have something to commemorate. And if they miss the chance, they might never get another one. So, no matter how busy I am, I'm always happy to take their orders. Good shit. So, what you're trying to say is that you enjoy, you enjoy your work? job, yes. Very rare to find. Oh, I do. I really do. Being born into a family of fireworks makers, I feel like since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with watching things go boom and then seeing all the lights and colors and... And then the cleanup. Uh, uh, what I really wanted to say was, uh, don't worry about me. It'll all be fine. <laughs> oh, so that's what you meant. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's just that good conversation can be as fleeting as fireworks mm -hmm. sometimes, you know? Yep. So when I'm in the mood and I've got a lot to say, I just have to get all out there in one go and leave no regrets. Nice to meet you. I go by Ramble of Birds sometimes. I love talking. Let's head to the city. I think I'll try my luck with some people that I know. Sure. Question. <laughs> it can get uncomfortable, I guess. But what else would I be using my voice for? Huh. You kind of have a point. Yeah, you just need some good old water to keep you hydrated and make sure your voice doesn't go hoarse. Oh, here we are. Hey, what's going on, Morihiro? Hello, Morihiko. Oh, Hiko. Business these days. <laughs> Yoi Mia, there you are. I thought you might show up. Ha, no need to beat around the bush. You're here for the fireworks materials, I assume. I put a batch aside just for you. It'll definitely be enough. Huh? Really? Ooh. How did you know? Because a fireworks show is coming up. <laughs> and that usually means you'll be running all over the place trying to get your hands on some last minute materials. Good shit, what a homie. I've come to expect it now. There's always a few extras unaccounted for, eh? I'm so sorry for bothering you every time. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on now. You know I didn't mean it like that. I'd sooner have my business go under than turn down one of your requests. Damn. What about you two? Are you the ones needing some fireworks made? Hi, yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's no trouble at all, my friend. <sighs> Once when I had an argument with my son, Yoi Mia was the one who came and calmed him down. I'm hopeless at communicating with him. If it wasn't for Yoi Mia, who knows? He probably would have run away by now. Damn, Yoi Mia is always willing to talk someone down and talk with someone. I like that. Nah, he was never going to come to that. He's a sensitive kid and he cares a lot about your feelings. It's just he doesn't know how to express it. Maybe if you turn that frown upside down once in a while, <laughs> you'll more at ease. Damn, I want one of these figures. These look cool. Yeah, I guess I'm probably too serious around him. The heck? This is a pog shop. Which is strange, because I don't think I'm anything like that when I'm talking with other people. Don't worry about it. No one's perfect. Oh. If you have any more trouble in the future, just come to me. Yo, Paimon notices too. Even if it's not fireworks related, I'll happily oblige. Customers come first. Always. Aether's like, yo, what's going on, Paimon? What are you doing? <laughs> All right, then. Everyone's always saying what a good kid you are. Your father must be very proud of you. Go ahead and take the ore, by the way. It's on the house. Oh, no, you don't. That's out of the question. Oh, these two are getting into conversation. Paimon's like, yo, can I go and do something else? I'm bored. Don't worry. Just take it as a token of my gratitude. Uh-oh. Gratitude won't pay your bills, though. Oh, okay. Don't do this to me. Can't we just play by normal business rules here? No, I, I got the bill. No, I insist. It's on me. No, I'll, I'll take it. And then it just becomes an argument. It just spirals out of control. I already said it's fine. Please, just take <laughs> it. Surely you've got a load of other things you need to get done today. Um, well, how about this then? I'll record this in my notebook, and we can consider it a down payment against any fireworks you want to purchase in the future. <sighs> There's no convincing you, is there? Damn. All right, then. 
if you insist. Damn, you owe me a one. Easy clap, boys. Pass on my regards to your dad. Tell him Morihiko wishes him health and happiness. Will do. You look after yourself as well. Don't push yourself too hard. You don't want to make yourself ill again. See ya. Everyone seems to really like you, Yoimiya. Seems like you'd happily do anything for anyone. You're not the first person to say that. In fact, some people think I'll literally do any favor they ask me to. <laughs> when that happens, I say to them, hey, this is a fireworks store. <laughs> we do fireworks. Yeah, keep your mind out the gutter too. What? Ugh, they don't always listen, so it can't be helped. But also, it's not really a big deal. Is she secretly Canadian? <laughs> anyway, we've got all the materials we need now, so that solves that problem. Next, we just need to go find someone to process them. Let's do it. She's very personable. She gets along with everybody. She's great, man. Very different from any other characters, especially since she's very, like, social, you know? Hajime! Mr. Aminoma, it's me! Ah. Yoimiya, if I'm not mistaken, you must be here for some firework materials. Seems like everyone knows how busy Yoimiya gets leading up to the fireworks show. Everybody here gets hyped for the summer festival because of Yoimiya's fireworks. Like, everybody knows her. I'm very sorry. Would you be able to wait for a while? I have quite a backlog of weapons orders right now. No worry. Oh, wait. Actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That could be a problem. Uh, some worries. How about this? Do you need a hand? As long as we can get through your orders, you can help me process my ore, right? Uh, that will depend on my master. Oh, this old man. Oh, you don't mind, do you, Mr. Aminoma? As you know, it's not long now until the Naginohara fireworks show starts. There's still a lot of fireworks left to make if I don't finish them on time. Aw, come on, cut her a break, old man. Talkative as ever, I see, <laughs> dear child. Yeah, some things never change. The essence of Aminoma art is patience and focus. When the mind is disturbed, it will show in the blade that is forged. AKA, tough luck, kid. Get in line and wait. If you badger Hajime like this, you will only succeed in disrupting his concentration. But, but this is a special circumstance, surely. The Naganohara <laughs> fireworks show is right around the corner. He's not even looking at what he's slamming right now. You're already doing a terrible job, Hajime. What are you doing? So give me your ore, and I will process it for you. Yo! The go! Let's go! He's like, move over, you squire. Time for the master to show you a thing or two. Huh? Holy shit. Master, you mean you'll do the work personally? Is that so surprising? Yeah, what the hell? It is, after all. The only option. Thank you for helping out, Mr. Aminoma. That's Pog. You're quite welcome. The Naga Nohara fireworks show is an important event. This I know well. In addition to this, mm. I am indebted to Ryunosuke for all the business he has given me. But Yoimiya, you should plan things more carefully in the future. I was just about Not to say that. Everything at the last minute. I was just about to say that. When she was like, oh, that actually might be a problem. I was like, don't you think you're cutting it a little too close? Shouldn't you have started planning? a little earlier. <laughs> I'll try my best. In the future, I'll get some extra materials in to cover any unexpected changes of plan late in the day. Though for you, dear child, <laughs> no matter how much you prepare in advance, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it may never be enough. Damn. Excuse me, I will be back shortly. You know why? Because she gets caught up in conversations every two minutes and she goes on a tangent until she has enough self-awareness to realize that she's wasting time. So, you know, I can relate 100%. Yo! Mr. Homie, no! Ah. Just look at the shape and size of these grains. Dude. It's beautiful. I'm at a loss for words. This is another great shot because of the sun rays, dude. I really hope it doesn't rain after this. That would be the worst. It's been a while since I've seen you take up your tools, but it looks like your craft hasn't degraded one bit. <laughs> of course. I have studied these techniques my whole life. Hell yeah. They are impossible for me to forget. So have a minimum. Naganohara fireworks been working together for a long time already? Back in the day, it was my master and Ryunosuke's father. Ooh. The people may have changed from one generation to another, but the ingredients required to make fireworks Let's go. have remained the same. Hajime, in the future, this will be up to you. Make sure you have some kids to pass on that knowledge to. <sighs> I know, I know. He doesn't seem to be all too happy about it. <laughs> 
All right, I won't bother you guys any longer. Oh, remember to come and watch the fireworks. Okay, time to head off. All right, let's do it. Koichi probably isn't back just yet, but let's go wait for him. Just as I thought, he isn't back yet. But not to worry, because actually, I've been hoping for a chance to have a nice long chat with you all day. Uh, I love her so much, man. I love getting just lost in a conversation. I really do. Sorry for dragging you with me everywhere. Everyone's been so good to me, though. It's all gone really smoothly. <laughs> I love her laugh, too. Feels like Paimon has barely spoken a word this whole trip. Sometimes it's not all about you, Paimon. Maybe you just need to be a better listener. How about that? It was nice just listening quietly. I felt like I was neglecting you guys. So I wanted to find an opportunity to catch up. When we first met, I was in a hurry. We didn't have a chance to sit down and have a proper chat. You guys are travelers, right? So where else did you go before coming to Inazuma? I'll start from the very beginning. Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Oh, sounds great. I heard they pretty much have no rules over their right? <laughs> Yeah. So people are free to live their life however they want, doing whatever makes them happy. That's like the exact opposite of Inazuma, which is kind of sad. My pops actually received a gift from one of his old customers over there. It was from the winery. Wait, D. Luke did business here? What the heck? Wait, 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 wait. From one of his old customers. Maybe it was D. Luke's dad. Depending on how far back this is. Don Winery. Their dandelion wine is super famous. Well, Let's go. Yes, that's the one. That's cool. I remember when he drank it? <laughs> I've never seen him enjoy a bottle of wine so much in his life. He was telling me all night about how good it tasted. My friend once said to me that only people with a strong will and a clear purpose decide to go traveling. Mm. Maybe it's to see a certain view or to fulfill a certain wish. I want to look for my sister. So, what made you guys embark on your treacherous journey to Inazuma? Uh, uh, to track down an enemy god. No. I think, I mean, that's overarching, but I think looking for our sister. And we're looking for answers from the gods, too. Yeah. You were separated from your family because of a god? Yeah, the world is not as put together as you might think. Oh. Aw. That must be really tough. Sometimes it is. I get it. Well, if that's how it is, then that's how it is. You know, I was going to ask if you guys wanted to stay here in Inazuma. Ah. Unlike the outside world, what Inazuma seeks is eternity. In other words, a state of tranquility where very little ever changes. I mean, there's tranquility. Tranquility, but like y'all need to be in a better state in general. The advantage of that is that if you're ever tired from your journey, Inazuma's a great place to come and rest. Uh, let me put it this way. <laughs> I was just worried that you might be getting weary. If you keep pressing on in that state, you might start to lose sight of the things that made you want to start your journey in the first place. That makes sense. She's so considerate, man. <sighs> just how it is. When you're exhausted, everything becomes an uphill struggle. Even trying to have fun. You won't be able to enjoy yourself if you're too tired. That's true. An adventure friend of mine once told me that if you're too focused on reaching <laughs> the end of the race, you'll miss a lot of opportunities and precious moments to be had along the way. Yes, dude. Actual facts, dude. Don't worry, though. I'm sure I can think of some way to get you feeling relaxed and happy. And you're here now, so even if you're gonna leave eventually, I wanna make sure you at least leave with fun memories. Way ahead of you. Who knows? Once you're reunited with your family, maybe you'll find Inazuma the right kind of place to call home. If we make it to the very end game, like at the very end of the game and everything's said and done, we have to do a top five best nations of Genshin. We definitely have to stack up all of these regions and see which one we enjoy by the end of it. It also depends on what my sister thinks. Yeah, I think that's important too. <laughs> I already have an idea of the color and type of fireworks I want to give you guys. Hello again. I'll keep it a secret for now though. Aww. Yoimiya, I'm back. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head over to the boat. Or, uh, did you want to keep chatting a little longer? Nah, we're done. Okay, good. Let's go then. Just act naturally, though. We don't want to raise any suspicion. Oh yeah, the Tenryo Commission. If it can withstand the storms out on the ocean, it must be super sturdy. Nope. Right? Absolutely. Oh, Rest assured, okay. the quality is guaranteed. All right, I see you. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Way too small. Makes me think of Atsuko. Yeah, the NPC in Liyue who said like she got a ride like on a boat here. Can't be helped, I'm afraid. This is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. Damn. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. Still, I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. Bro, I got Animo on my side. We're good. I'm also hoping Sakujiro won't have to use it. It's just there as a last resort. I gotta say though, Koichi... 
It feels like your craft has improved once again. Nice. <laughs> I'm not the one you should be praising. It's all thanks to the guys who kindly pitched in. To avoid detection, we each worked on our own materials separately, then assembled them secretly in the night. This is the largest we could afford to build. Any bigger, and there's no way it would pass the Tenryo Commission's inspection. Let's store the boat here for now, then. I'll fill Sakajiro in when I get back. He'll need to make some preparations before setting sail. Okay. Uh oh Hyman feels really worried all of a sudden. Doesn't helping Sakajiro make you a collaborator in the, <laughs> the Tenryo Commission? You're harboring a fugitive, number one, and you're an accessory in a potential crime, so that's two counts right there. You're, you're definitely a convict in their eyes if you get caught. <laughs> Maybe it does. But I knew what I was getting into from the moment I agreed to help him. My family has pretty good connections with the Yashiro Commission. Ooh. We work very closely with them. Yep, and that's true. there's a national event of any sort, the other two commissions come to us too. I wonder if Ayaka has ever gotten like a piece of paper from the Naganohara family. Ayaka told us to go and seek out Yoimiya. As long as I'm polite and respectful and don't cause a fuss, they won't look to cause trouble for me either. And anyway, to your point about collaboration, you've been helping out too, right? Yep, that means we're partners in crime. That's true. This was all a collaborative effort. We were chased by the Millilith too. Uh-oh. <sighs> What? Ah, so you're seasoned crooks already, eh? Don't know what I was worried about then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for everything, Kalichi. And your fireworks are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you want. Nice. While you're there, you can get my pops to settle the boat construction fees. Oh, don't worry about paying anything. Third sis would be sure to scold me if she found out I'd taken Mora from the Naganoharas. Third sis? Who's third sis? Oh, uh, let me explain this one. Ooh. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant guild in Inazuma. It got really prosperous. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. Mm. They all grew up together, each of them learning their respective family's business. They were a tightly knit group of friends, but eventually, they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. It was inevitable that business would send them all to different corners of the world, and that they'd have far less opportunity to see each other in the future. Yeah. That's right. Just before we went our separate ways, the eldest of the group suggested that we should all go watch some fireworks together one last time. Aww. <laughs> they were all very ambitious types, and each had their own knack for doing business. One by one, they left, until Koichi was the only one of them remaining. Oh, the shit. Group. Nice. After that, he hardly saw them. But whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. Yo, your family's doing good business. Yeah. No matter how close you and your friends are, there's always going to be s some distance after being separated for a long time. Yeah. But as soon as the fireworks lit up the sky, it'd instantly take us right back to our childhood, and we'd be ch chatting away like in the old days. This quest is hitting so many, like, relatable moments in my life. To us, those memories are eternal. Yeah. Oh, so this is what you meant when you were talking about commemorating things. Yep, that's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on me for their fireworks. Anyway, I need to go update Sakujiro. See you, Koichi. Thanks again for your help. This quest is, like, bringing up so much nostalgia and so much of, like, my personal life. It's crazy. Yeah, I should get out of here, too. I don't want to get caught red-handed. Okay, story time. So, whenever Koichi brings one of his friends from the trade association to see me, they always mention how they used to play with me when I was a kid or held me once as a baby or something. <laughs> but there are so many of them in that friendship group, and I don't remember anything from that age anyway. So, I uh, never have a clue who they are. <laughs> I get like that, too. One time, he shows up with another one of his friends, and the friend asks me if I remembered him. Oh, that's the worst. Well, I'm like, yes, I do. You held me once when I was just a baby. Koichi just bursts out laughing and says, <laughs> actually, this is one of his carpenter friends. Yeah. Turns out, he's a lot younger than he looks. Just a few years older than me. I went bright red and must have apologized like a million times. I was so embarrassing. I feel like everything she says, I have a similar experience. I've never been in a situation like her where I tried to pass it off like I knew somebody when I didn't. I would literally die from embarrassment if that ever happened to me. So many good stories, man. So many good stories and experiences. 
with this character. It's already and waiting. I'll mark the location for you on the map. Before you leave, I recommend that you pack some food and water. You can never be too prepared. True. Uh, uh oh. After how much effort it took to get back in, it's hard to convince myself to leave again, especially when I'll be going up against the stormy ocean on a tiny little boat. Yeah, that's true. My prospects don't look great. Well, they won't look much better if you get caught by the Terrio Commission. I'm afraid that sooner or later they are going to find you here. Time is starting to run out. I'm sorry. I'll make sure to get out of here before they come. I promise I won't cause you and your family any more trouble. I didn't mean it like that. If we ever ran into any problems, I'm sure I'd figure something out. But if the Tenryo Commission does catch up to you, then make a run for the boat. Okay. I won't let them catch me. All right. But no, uh, I guess this whole trip was a waste in the end. Why did you want to come back to Inazuma anyway? Is there something you wanted to do? I didn't used to like this place at all. That's why I left. Mm. But looking back on things now, I was really just running away from my responsibilities. Once I started to realize that, I got restless. I couldn't stop thinking about the people and the things I'd left behind. Well, you don't know what you have till it's gone. So I... Ah, forget it. What does it matter now? It's too late anyway. I originally wanted to make up for all my regrets, but instead, I found myself in the situation I'm in now. What a pity. Talk to us about it! Maybe we could- Talking to people always, you know, can ultimately make you feel better. If only there was no Sakoku decree, huh? <laughs> yeah, easier said than done, right? Anyway, uh, don't worry. We're not going to bother you about it. We'll keep trying to buy you as much time as possible until you reach your final decision. Okay. The Tenryo Commission. If only they weren't so overzealous, there might be a way. Kujo Sara, come around to the homies. We know you got it. We know you're going to do it. Oh, that's right. That elderly couple, old customers of ours, their son's in the Tenryu Commission, isn't he? Ooh. Yeah, quite high up as well. Oh, gosh. Yoimiya, you're doing it again. You're getting caught up in your own world. That's it. I'll go talk to them. Maybe they can do something. This is so, like, out of left field. It's like, what? Are you sure they won't just report me instead? Oh, don't worry about that. They're really nice people. I know them well. They won't cause us any issues. Yo, if Yoimiya single-handedly, like, gets rid of the Sakoku decree, that'd be insane. All right. You should get back indoors, Sakujiro. We'll be back in no time at all. Okay, let's go. Time waits for no one. Exactly. Wait, hang on. What about the fireworks? All those materials? Dude, she's getting so derailed. Dude, you just decided, yeah, let's take on the Sakoku decree. No biggie. You just forgot about all of your other obligations, and I want to see some fireworks. Pots? Pots? No, never mind. <gasps> I know. I'll write him a note telling him to sort out the fireworks. Smart thinking. Him! Why did you cut Paimon off earlier? Uh-oh. Because what he needs isn't an answer. Just time. Yeah. There you go, Yoimiya. Always considerate of other people's feelings in the moment. Paimon, you can learn a thing or two from her. Oh, this old couple again. Okay, I see, I see. All right, let me grab these real quick. Well, if it isn't Yoimiya. Come on in, dear. Come and take a seat. Are these two your friends? Yeah, remember me? Yes. They're travelers from afar. Are these the same people? Players have a very difficult time getting into Inazuma nowadays. Indeed, these are unprecedented times. I don't know. But seeing as they came all this way, we locals should give them a warm welcome. These two have literally the same models as the other old people, so I literally can't tell if they're the same or not. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, I brought the fireworks that you ordered. Oh, thank you, dear. Your family is so good to us every year. First your father, and now you. I wonder if I'll still be around to see the next Aww. year of Naganahara fireworks. Oh, yeah, like if she has a son or a daughter, that'd be great. Of course you will. You're both in great health. Don't say things like that. It's bad luck. Uh, we aren't as young as we once were, though. <laughs> the body knows it. I'm no spring chicken. It used to be that I could spend all day working the land, carrying water back and forth. But now, even a moment of light work leaves me with all sorts of aches and pains. Is it just me or does this lady sound like Madam Ping? I wanted to do some weeding yesterday, but as soon as I bent down to get started... Oh no! I suddenly felt that if I went any further... Oh boy. I wouldn't be able to get back up again. Ah, uh, yes. The elderly's most powerful adversary, gravity. No worries. Say no more. We'll handle it. No, no, no. We can't be putting you to work when you're a guest in our home. I'll just go fetch the tea and some snacks, and then we'll continue our conversation. Yo, we can't be stuck. Uh, Yoimiya, I know you love a good conversation as much as I, but we got shit to do. <laughs> like, we literally 
can't be talking all day every day. It's fine. It's not like it's the first time I've helped you with chores. I just haven't had much time recently with the fireworks show coming up. But once that's out of the way, I'll be sure to come by more often. Also, isn't your son in the ten reel commission? That's what we're here for, right? It's no trouble, really. We don't mind helping. I mind. Oh, you're such. Well, everyone's just speaking kids. for me. As. For mine, oh. he's all grown up now, hasn't found anyone yet, and he doesn't visit very often. Uh, if you're quite sure it's no trouble, then I have some pickled radish here. Let's go! Would you mind delivering it to Satoru on the other side of the village? Satoru. We didn't even have to ask about him. They just dropped it on us. Sure. It won't take us a moment. The old folks aren't very mobile, so come on. Let's help them out. We'll get rid of the weeds first and then deliver the pickled radish. The Naku weeds? All right, let's help them clean up this area. Not Naku weeds, just these regular weeds. That's unfortunate. Wait, do I got to burn them? Like, what's going on? Uh-oh. Is that what I... Oh, okay. I'm supposed to start a fire in this humble little village. That's clearly the way to go, guys. Yeah, you got it. Okay, sweet. And that should just about do it. Thank you, dears. Sorry to make you run errands for us. I'll brew some tea and prepare some snacks for when you get back. Yo, Grandpa Snacks. Satoru is on the other side of the village. Let's go see him now. Other side of the village? He's not even in the village. The hell? He's like on the outskirts. Hey, Satoru. How have you been? Keeping well? Yeah, same as usual. Not much has changed. You're looking full of life, as always. All thanks to the support of our loyal customers. Hmm. The family business just keeps getting better and better. We sold some fireworks to Liu a while back, and word is, <gasps> they were a real hit. Oh. So it looks like we'll be getting more business from over there in the future. Wait, were the fireworks that were used for the Lantern Rite Festival, is that what she's referring to? Oh, shit, that's so cool. Oh my god, continuity at its finest. I'm gonna assume that fireworks anywhere in this game or in this world originate from the Naganohara family. That's super cool. That must mean a lot more work for you, though. Are you sure you and Mr. Ryunosuke can manage? If it gets too much, I don't forget, you can always ask me for help. Hmm? We should be fine. I think we can cope. Oh, yeah. Um, this is some pickled radish from Mrs. Imatani. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> I never used to be a fan of pickled radish, would you believe? But then I'd try some of Mrs. Imatani's homemade stuff and I couldn't get enough of it. It's a family staple now. Speaking of your family, how's everyone doing? They're doing well. We have the occasional heated argument, but mm. I guess that's every family ever. Being close to family is better than never getting to see them, even if it does mean putting up with some conflict. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Imatani seem to have a great relationship, but still, they must get lonely with their child never visiting. Huh. They didn't seem that way to me. I think they're just used to it. You make a good point, though. I should drop by more often in the future. That way, they won't get so bored. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they'd love that. As would all of us in Konda Village. You're always welcome here. Thank you! <laughs> You. That was wholesome. Now that we finished all the chores, it's time to talk to the Imatanis about Sakujiro. Brace for impact, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know how this is going to pan out. I got to drop some heat on you, old Quick. folks. Uh-oh. Ah, people are so hen. Younger people have bundles of energy, and older people have a wealth of wisdom. Each have their strengths. There you go. Speaking of youth, do you know what? It's been 50 years this year. Jesus, what, has you all been together? Oh, so it has. Goodness, how the time flies. Goddamn. You barely notice as the years go by, but then suddenly, 50 years have passed. 50 years since what? Some important day? Anniversary? <laughs> well, if you must know, ah. it was 50 years ago, back in the days when this young lady was still trying to win me over, that... I don't know. She's going to be like, hey, that's not how I remember it. Oh, stop trying to impress me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we both know you were the one who was hopelessly smitten and desperately trying to win my affection. I saw that coming from a mile away. Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> Fifty years ago, I proposed to my wife at the Naganahara fireworks show. We've been together ever since. Congratulations. Mm, to tell the truth, I was still a little uncertain. I wasn't sure what I was doing when I walked into the Naganahara's shop and ordered my firework. Even as it was rising up into the sky, uh, I still had no clue what I was going to say. Oh, okay. But then it exploded, the sky lit up, I looked back at her and saw her eyes, 
twinkling in the light of the fireworks. This is wholesome as fuck, dude. Before I knew what was happening, apparently, I'd already said it. And, well, she'd said yes. Goddamn. In some ways, it's a long time. In others, it's no time at all. Really, it's just a number. I feel like time is only long when you, like, stop and think how long you've been alive. It's like, damn, that's a long time. But, like, day by day, it doesn't feel very long until, like, you become self-aware of it. But 50 years of being together? Now that is something worth commemorating. I had no idea it was your 50th anniversary. If I'd known, I would have made some extra fancy fireworks just for you. Aww. Oh no, it's quite all right. We always set off the same firework every year. It wouldn't be the same without it. Seeing that firework go off takes us right back to those days. Oh yeah. Even at this age, we still look back with not a single regret. Yeah, the nostalgia, I can only imagine. Ah, what a great relationship they have. Enough about us, though. Yoimiya, aren't you busy with the fireworks show coming up? Was there something you needed to discuss? Uh, yeah, so we're trying to break the law. We need your help. Yeah, um, it's a difficult thing to talk about, but here goes. All right, let's talk about it. Mm, Sakujiro. So he came back. Huh? You know him? What the heck? He was our boy's best friend when they were young. Oh, damn, dude. I was not expecting that. Holy shit. <sighs> they were inseparable. Oh, they man. They up together, shared everything with each other, and went everywhere together. Bro, these quests literally just change up on you in the second half. Like, first half, we're talking to people, we're doing errands and stuff. Next thing you know, we're, like, getting to some, like, real shit. But one day, they had a terrible argument. Sakujiro seemed to feel that Inazuma was too peaceful and wanted to see what uh, the outside world was. <laughs> Very different place than when you last left it, I'm assuming. But our Keisuke took after his father and mother. Keisuke? He felt that there was nothing wrong at all with being peaceful. You know what children are like. They get terribly worked up about these sorts of things. In the end, Sakujiro stormed off, and that was that. Mm. I see. Keisuke said nothing to me or my wife about the fight. We could sense that he was very hurt by it, but he didn't want to talk with us about how he was really feeling. Everyone just has trouble communicating. That guy and his son was like, oh yeah, we get into fights every so often, and we just don't really know how to communicate. And it's like, you're talking to the one character, Yoimiya, who talks more than anybody. It's a cool juxtaposition. Eventually, whether out of pent-up anger or... For some other reason, he joined the Tenryo Commission. Mm. He rarely comes home anymore. If it was anything else, I could talk to Keisuke, and I'm sure he'd be willing to help. Yeah, you never know how he's feeling. He might just go and freaking arrest his friend himself. But since it's Sakujiro, I don't feel there's any way we can get involved. What a strange coincidence! That's what I was gonna say. What I understand now. When I asked Sakujiro why he came back, he just said because of past mistakes and wasn't willing to elaborate. Now I finally understand why he can't decide what to do. It's like, do I leave again and regret like trying to make things up with my best friend? Or do I stay, try to resolve things, risk getting arrested, and Lord knows what happens to him? Two best buddies in childhood. One grows up to join the Tenryo Commission, the other grows up to join the Tenryo Commission's most wanted list. <laughs> I never would have imagined it either. Well, no worries. If that's the case, then never mind. We can find some other way to help Sakujiro. There's no need to make things difficult for you. This sounds like something for Sakujiro and Keisuke to resolve between themselves. I appreciate Yoimiya going out of her way to try to help these two, but it's like, this is so out of left field for what, like, we need to be getting done. Yes. Oh, it'd be so nice if they could go back to the way things were. I think after all these years, they ought to let go of their grudges. Mm -hmm. Life's too short. Even though they were like, 50 years is pretty long, but at the same time, it isn't. Like, for stuff like this that, like, is so avoidable, the older you get, the less it really matters to just be negative about stuff. <sighs> Well, can't say we didn't try. I'll let Sakujiro know after we get back. Time to head back and deliver the news. It's time for him to make a choice. Yoimiya, something bad's happened. Oh, what the Some fuck? people from the Tinryo Commission came by. Bruh, they just knew he was here, didn't they? Huh? 
Why? Do they know? Pops, are you all right? They didn't do anything to you, did they? Uh-oh. I told them the show was starting soon and the place was filled with fireworks, so they shouldn't go in because it's a fire hazard. But they didn't listen. It seemed like they knew Sakujiro was inside. What the heck? How? Luckily, Sakujiro heard them coming in time and managed to escape through the window. Oh, he went to the boat. The Tenryo Commission wasn't able to capture him. All right, he's going to the boat. Oh, this is bad news. I don't think Sakujiro had enough time to make his mind up. Pops, did you see where he went? Oh, the Tenryo Commission will definitely be chasing after him. Did you catch any of their names? Oh, what if it's the son? I forgot his name, like Seisuke or something like that? Good point. Names. We need names. Keisuke. Showing up like this, surely it must be Keisuke's doing. Yeah. The commission wouldn't normally cause this big of a fuss over a stowaway. <sighs> Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. No good. That's right. And I didn't get a good look at them either. If you're wondering which way they went, they left the city. I wish I'd caught their names. <sighs> but I didn't hear a thing. It's all good, old man. As it happens, Ooh. I did. Oh, welcome back. I was getting some ore from my friend's place and happened to bump into them on the way over. I think their leader's name was Keisuke. Yeah. Just like you said. There you go. Just as I thought. Thanks. If Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, those two running into each other won't solve anything. Mm. And even worse, there'll be no coming back from it for Sakujiro. Yeah, into the brig you go. We can't let that happen. Come with me. Let's track them down. Oh, boy. This is getting, uh, this is getting intense. Oh, the kids. Maybe the kids saw something. It's Matsuzaka and his friends. Let's ask them. All right, what's going on, kids? Hi, Yoimiya. Are the weapons to scare away the great Mujina? Yoimiya? Oh, my God. I completely forgot about this. <laughs> They're still talking about that. Oh, uh, Mr. Ryunosuke is making them right now. You can go collect them from my house later. Aw. Aren't you going to play with us, Yoimiya? I'm sorry. I have something important to do right now. I'll be back later on, but I'll bring you guys some candy next time. Ooh. Extra sweet candy. The one you guys love. Yeah, I want candy. Yeah, hey, we're going to get candy. Woohoo! That's all it takes to bribe kids nowadays. Uh, Yo, this kid's candy. popping off. Whoa. <laughs> So I wanted to ask you guys something. Did you see a bunch of scary looking men come by here at all? Yep, we did. It looked like they were chasing someone. Are they trying to catch a monster too? No, don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Be good kids and stay out of trouble, all right? Mm -hmm. Stay in the city for now and I'll come play with you after the fireworks start. We will. We'll be on our best behavior, especially for you, Yoimiya. We're getting candy out of it. Those kids know what they're doing. It looks like this is the right way. Let's keep going. All right, let's do it. If Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, I guess I'll have to step in. Look! Oh, shoot, the gang's all here. Over there. It must be them. Hey, what's going on? Sorry, official business. I can't let you pass. I'll just go around. Sakujiro and Keisuke are up ahead, right? We need to talk to them about something. Didn't you hear me? You're not getting past. All right, looks like we're going to have to throw down with the Ten Real Commission. Sara, I love you, my girl, but I'm about to body your goons. Ugh, what a nuisance. Oh. Well, you've only got yourself to Oh, go. shit, are we actually throwing down? Oh, damn, okay. Kujo, Sara, I'm actually sorry, babe, but, like, I got to take your boys down. Here come the fireworks. Time for a light show. Got him. Roll out. Must... Easy clap. How dare you impede the work of the Tenryo Commission? We're about to get arrested. You will be punished for your actions. Yo, give me that booba sword. Hit me with that Musono Hirotachi ball. I dare you. There is nowhere you can escape justice. Oh. Not even at the edges of the world. Damn, he's really gonna go snitch to the Raiden Shogun. We're fucked. Unless Keisuke helps us. Huh, look at that. The one with the loudest mouth had the fastest feet. <laughs> we can't waste any more time on these guys. Let's push on. They should be just ahead. All right. Love a woman who takes action. Yoimi is out here popping off, dude. Oh, shit. Yo, chill out, my guy. <sighs> Your skills with the sword have stagnated, Sakujiro. You should have known that you stood no chance against me in a duel. Oh, shit, they dueled? I never imagined I'd fall into your hands. I... I'm sorry. If this is to be my fate, I accept it. I have nothing else to say. But your return says that you finally came around to my point of view. Whatever you say. You will return with me to the Tenryo Commission to await your sentencing. The one who made this boat will also be punished. E We're all going to jail. I called it. Wait. Yoimiya. It doesn't have to end like this. Don't you have anything else to say to one another? Hey, I know you. You're Naganahara's girl who makes the fireworks. Mm-hmm. I know you like to get involved in other people's business, but stay out of this. 
It does not concern you. It's okay, Yoimiya. The past is the past. Crab cameo right there! And why did you risk life and limb to get yourself back into Inazuma? And why were you so reluctant to leave after you got here? I'll tell you why. This is why. Mm -hmm. This is the chance you've been waiting for. To talk everything through. I have nothing to say to him. He's a criminal. I work for the Tenryo Commission. There is never any oh. room for discussion. I'm getting so distracted by these crabs, it's not even funny. Out of respect for the friendship we once had, I gave him a chance to fight for his freedom. But his skills with the sword are as disappointing now as they ever were. Chill out, my guy. That's what you want? The sword? The ways of the blade? What are you talking about? And just who do you think you're kidding? You left all your subordinates back there to guard the road, making sure no one else followed you here. Seems to me like you were hoping for a chance to talk. True. I can see it in your faces. You both have so much to say, and you're just gonna choose to keep it all inside? Yoimiya's like, I love talking my mouth off. You guys should do it. It's so liberating. Tuh, don't flatter yourself. What would you know? Your parents told me everything, kid. Yoimiya, leave it. It was just my wishful thinking. No, I won't leave it. I will not stand by and watch when you haven't even done anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> Keisuke, you seem to like settling things with a duel. So, let's do it. Oh, here. shit. I challenge you to a duel. Yeah, you're about to get freaking rocked, my guy. If I win, then you need to say everything that's in your heart. No more running from your feelings. And the same goes for you, Sakujiro. If I win, you will tell Keisuke exactly why you came back, no matter what the consequences are. You have to tell him everything. I wonder if there's a chance for us to lose. If you don't say anything now, you may never have another chance. And if you lose? A lifetime supply of fireworks for you and your entire family for all time. Then I'll admit to collaborating with Sakujiro and accept the Tenryo Commission's punishment. Damn, dog. I can't lose this fight now. She's gonna get hit with that Musono Hirotachi. I can't let that happen. Yoimiya. I accept. Let's settle this with a duel. This guy's just like, all right, have fun. Sir, we're here to back you up. What? What the hell? Back up? Duels are supposed to be one-on-one! -on -one. Damn! Thanks for the vaporized buff. All right, this guy's getting rocked. Oh, there's more? What the hell? All right, we got him. Three constantly show up over and over and over and over again. Sir, they are too strong. <laughs> we need more men. Stand down. W what? I thought I told you to stay away. Now stand down. I just lost, like a punk bitch. No more running away from my feelings. Yes, sir. Sorry. You are just as obstinate as Sakujiro was back then. Why were you so convinced that we had things to say to each other? Because your parents ratted you out. Because Sakujiro may not have told me about you when he came back, but he did order a firework from me. Then your parents told me about what happened between you when you were younger. Once I'd heard the story, I realized that the firework meant something special to you both. And that's why I simply refuse to believe that you have nothing to say to each other. Talk to him, Yoimiya. Talk to him. Nobody sets off a firework to feel lonely, do they? The reason I came back is that I felt lost. It wasn't that I'd changed my mind. I just felt that what I'd done in the past was to try to escape from reality. I saw the freedom of Mondstadt, the contrast Ooh. of Liyue, the wisdom of Sumeru, I'm and jealous. the justice of Fontaine. Bruh. He had all left a deep impression on me. This man's been to Sumeru and Fontaine. I'm pissed, dog. I was like, Mondstadt, Liyue, all right, I respect you, dude. And then he's like, I've been to places that not even you've been to. I'm like, God damn it. I was glad that I'd left Inazuma. But then I happened to hear about the Sokoku Decree. I was an escapee, and I was proud of that. What I should have tried to do is take the good things from the outside world and bring them back home. Mm, like the pizza we did. So that's why you came back out of your naive hope of changing the way things are here. No, I let go of all those delusions of grandeur. I just felt that I never should have run away like that. After all, you never ran away. Huh? I don't know about you, but life hasn't been easy for me. But I just had to come back and visit. It was like fate was calling me, and I couldn't ignore it any longer. Life isn't easy for anyone. True. I truly worship the Raiden Shogun. Her ideas were my personal creed, mm. and I desired nothing more than to see her will done. I need to hear this for myself. This region's gone to shit, so I almost need to, like, see it to believe it. But now, my role is to punish violators of this Hakoku decree and confiscate people's visions. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. It's not what I signed up for when I joined the Tenryo Commission. Exactly. So what changed with her? I do wonder, am I really doing the right thing? Again, I kind of feel like it's like act one. You lose your vision, you lose your ambition. So I wonder if she lost her gnosis already. The boat is yours. Respect. I don't think he's going to leave though. Uh huh? I couldn't make you stay in Inazuma. But that doesn't mean I want to keep you here by force. Uh, what will you say to the higher-ups? Don't worry about that. I'll handle it. If you want to come back, I hear the process of returning to Inazuma from the outside world is long and complicated. Yeah. But it can be done. I will lend you my help, but until then, you'll have to wait. And don't kick the bucket on the way out. Damn. Don't worry, Keisuke. Any chance we can watch the fireworks together? We better get the fireworks now. Hmm. Maybe next time. Next time? Fireworks are right around the corner. <sighs> I'll be demoted for sure. Damn. It's not like me to give in the childish sentiment like this. I can't explain why I went through with it. That boat? It's the one that Sakujiro planned on using for his escape. Uh. I asked Yoshitaka and the others to transport it here, citing the temporary contraband storage clause. Ah. Forcing Sakujiro to this spot was also something I had planned all along. Holy shit, that's goaded. It's just like you said, Yoimiya. Even though I hadn't fully made up my mind, my actions betrayed my intent. But I think you did the right thing. And look, now you've managed to resolve the grievance in your heart by talking about it. There you go. I understand now. Thank you. I didn't know you were quite so perceptive. You saw <laughs> right into what I was thinking. The power of speaking. <laughs> Only because I know your parents so well. They're both really nice people, so I didn't think the apple would fall too far from the tree. Ah. Uh. I had heard there was a new Naganohara running things these days. A little loud and reckless, maybe, but you live up to the family name. Oh, go visit your family. They miss you. By the way, Naganohara fireworks can reproduce the firework that the two of us set off back then, right? Mm hmm. Would you be able to make one for me? Ah. Sorry. No can do. Uh Without the slipper reference, I can't make the same one again. And I'm afraid Sakajiro is the one with the slip. Ah, uh, looks like you gotta go find your friend. Ah, uh, I see. Never mind then. Or never mind then. <laughs> Don't get too down just yet, though. I mentioned that Sakujiro ordered a firework from me, didn't I? I can't make another one, but I'm guessing Sakujiro probably won't be needing his anymore. Mm. It'd be a shame for it to go to waste, so I'll make an exception and let you set it off instead. Aw, thank you very much. No worries. And don't miss out on the start of the firework show. Ah, uh, are we getting one, please? Yoimiya, the way you took command of that whole situation was amazing! Such a great character, man. What can I say? I like to talk. I'm a strong believer in the power of words. If you're not willing to communicate, then the problem just sits there. If you just keep staring at it without doing anything, mm -hmm. eventually you'll watch every last opportunity to resolve it slip away before your eyes. Sakujiro and Keisuke can't turn back the clock in their relationship, but that's no reason to live with remorse. Anyway, follow me. I'll bring you to the perfect place to watch the fireworks. Hey, and it's nighttime perfect. My pops will set off the firework that I wanted to give to you. Nice. You know what? I'm going to keep it nighttime. Go to the place to watch the fire. Oh, it's here too? Bro, we were just here with Ayaka yesterday. Yo, round two, baby. Let's go. Let's check it. Oh, he's going to see the fireworks after all. Wait, is he, is he swimming? Oh, is he? Is he? Oh, there it is. <sighs> There it is, dude. No. Oh, this is so good. Holy fuck, that's a lot of fireworks. Oh, Ooh. This is so nice. <laughs> Aww. <sighs> so, Yumiya, these fireworks, what do they mean to you? Yumiya? <laughs> Shh. Huh? She's just lost in the moment, huh? Paimon. Ugh, <laughs> <sighs> oh, I love it. I love this so much. <laughs> yeah, that that's definitely a shut up Paimon moment. It was so beautiful I could weep. Ah, oh, it was so good. Uh, I didn't actually cry though, right? I just feel a bit misty-eyed. <laughs> it was very pretty. Oh, uh, remember that big one that went up first? Yeah, the gold one. 
That's the one I had Pops make for you. Yo! Gold because we're a five star. Yo, our RNG, dude. Praying and hoping that that gold firework means good things for the next gold stream that we get in our next summoning session for Ball and Sara. Oh, Paimon saw it. It was one of the best ones. They won't forget that anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. I was hoping it would leave a deep impression on you guys. Yeah. No matter where your journey takes you and no matter what hardships might lie ahead, I hope you'll always be able to look back fondly on the fireworks you saw tonight. That like retroactively makes me appreciate the Lantern Rite Festival so much more because of the fireworks from that were also from her family. I believe that as time goes by, this firework will only grow brighter and more beautiful in your heart. Damn, dude. Oh, and also, you're technically my customer. Oh! Here, this is your paper slip. If you ever want to see that golden firework again, just come and see me. Let's go. Thank you for your kindness. You know, Yoimiya, you seem to turn into a completely different person during the fireworks. <laughs> you were so quiet, and it was like you couldn't hear anything at all. She was enjoying the moment, Paimon. She wasn't talking over it like you were. Oh, I can hear you. I just have a habit of being silent while I'm watching fireworks. I was just trying to ignore you so I can enjoy the moment. Thanks a lot. Quietly watching something you made with your own hands rise into the sky feels like a sacred ceremony to me. Aww. You asked me what fireworks mean to me. Me, right? Yep. Well, for Koichi, who built the boat for us, and his friend, Third Sis, fireworks commemorate friendship. Yep. For Keisuke's parents, they commemorate marriage. Mm-hmm. And for Keisuke and Sakajiro, they were commemorating... Unwavering oh. beliefs? If I were to predict what it symbolizes for Yoimiya, I think it's what she says in her quote, like, these moments may be fleeting, but the memories of these moments are what lasts forever. Maybe it is memories. Oh, yeah, right, beliefs. As for me, uh... <laughs> To be honest, uh, even though I've thought about it countless times- Or she doesn't have an answer. I still haven't found an answer. Seriously? Hyman was expecting something deep and philosophical. Maybe you need a shut up, Paimon. Uh, no one's ever asked me this before, so I've never really settled on an answer. It was by chance that I happened to be born into the Naganohara family, so it was by chance that I ended up learning this craft from my pops. Mm -hmm. It's also by chance that I've met so many people, learned so many things, and discovered that people associate watching fireworks with the things that are most precious to them. It's a lot of good memories. Fireworks that disappear in a flash of light are probably the furthest thing away from the eternity that our shogun desires. But people's feelings don't just disappear. And it's those feelings that give fireworks their purpose. If nobody wanted to watch fireworks, then they wouldn't exist. That's another kind of eternity. Also, consider this. You have to have the Naganoharas because so many people are emotionally invested in the existence of fireworks. AKA, we're never going out of business. Let's go. If we didn't exist, their wishes would go unfulfilled, wouldn't they? Hmm, true. You know, I don't really think about complicated things like this very often, but I'm proud that I was born into the Naganohara family and have the chance to make so many pretty fireworks. I agree. Dream like timelessness. Oh shit. Oh. Act two has also started. Hey, Duma's not such a bad place. Paimon's <gasps> having a pretty good time. We got the... But we should probably go and see about the next operation that Toma and Ayaka were talking about. Oh, right? shit. As usual, it's the first stop, Kamari Tea House. Are you ready to head over? Holy shit, we got the freaking slip, dude. Not gonna hire our fireworks slip. A note that Yoi Mia gave you to record fireworks formulae with. If you give this note to Yoi Mia, she will be able to make fireworks just as you remember them. No matter how time passes or people or things change, so long as you take care of this note, you can stand guard over the door at the past. Perhaps you two will find happiness that belongs only to you under a firework filled sky. I really, really hope that this becomes comes relevant down the line like we get like our own firework pack kind of like how uh the Zhao lanterns work even though the Zhao lanterns are classified as consumable items let me talk to yoimiya one more time i think i'll stay here for a bit longer the show is still not quite over in my heart yeah oh but if you wanted to check Ooh, let's go what do you want to do afterwards Matsuzaka and the others are still waiting for me so we can go hunt down the group. Oh, yeah, she's gonna go hang out with the kids. I'm like a big sister to them, so I can't go back on my word. True. Also, I want to go and ask everyone what they thought of the fireworks. And over the next few days, 
I'd also like to thank everyone for their support. Uh, you deserve a little rest, too. That includes you and Paimon, too, of course. Ah. Uh, are fireworks expensive? For you guys? Yeah, pr ours was the biggest one. I'll do it for free. Let's fucking go, dude. I did kind of force it on you, after all. Not to mention that I dragged you along with me and gave you all sorts of trouble along the way. <laughs> I'd feel bad if I charged you anymore, uh. Are you sure I feel bad? It's fine. Look, how about we make a deal? After you find your sister, tell her to come to Nagano Hire Fireworks for all her fireworks needs. That way, I'll get another customer. Sound fair? I think that's where that Nagano Hara slip is going to be relevant after we reunite with our sister. That seems like some epilogue, like post game content type stuff. Like I want our sister to experience and talk to all the people that we've gotten to build relationships with over the course of the game. Also, it'd be nice to meet her. That too. That'd be great. What if the Tenryo Commission causes you more trouble? I'll kick their butts again. <laughs> Joking. Oh, I love her. Didn't I tell you that my family deals with the commissions quite a bit? We have an easy enough time of it. At the worst, we'd have to apologize, smile, and pay a fine. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, the end of the world's in the background over there. You two should be careful, though. Without the same connections, you can't afford to be as reckless as me. <laughs> oh, my God. I loved this quest. Yoi Mia is such an awesome character, dude. I spent a significant portion of this quest line just going down memory lane of my childhood. Me getting caught up in, like, my youth and my innocence of thinking cartoon characters were real or reminiscing on the relatability of people that I grew up knowing and being distant with them for long periods of time. But then when you link up, it's like nothing ever changed. Like I think Yoimi is one of the most relatable characters in the entire game. I think of all the character quests we've done out of all the quests we've done, this is the one that I resonated the most with on a personal level. I love her personality. I really hope we see more of her in the second or third act of the Archon quest, especially since she was very prominent in the first one. And obviously this one kind of ties it you have to do her character quest before you can do act two and act three i'm assuming yeah she's great she's awesome i'm really enjoying playing as her as well overall love the quest love yoimi as a character i really like these last two character quests with her and ayaka you know i just really look forward to the future of genshin the future of inazuma what they have in store for the remaining half the three new islands we're getting the boss fight the weekly boss our encounter with ball and everything else in between i really hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough overall i hope you enjoyed this latest portion of my Genshin playthrough session tomorrow. Like I said, we're going to be jumping into act two. So that's going to be really exciting as well. And uh, I look forward to doing it.